As an artist, you need to follow your own instinct. You have to, at some point, not listen to the noise anymore, and you just have to do what's in your gut. And that is maybe a risk, but this is what you wanted, and you did it. Thank you, thank you. Howie, you know, uh, we all, as human beings, we have many sides and many things. You're standing beside a guy who's not only a great host, but he's an artist, he's an athlete, yeah. he's thank a you. motivational speaker. Those are all part of him. You're a singer, you're a ventriloquist, and thank you for sharing another side. Mel B. I mean, I do agree with what you're both saying, but this is, you know, this is a competition, and you have to remember what you came into this with. Can, can I ask you a question? Of course. So this was your decision? Yes. It wasn't completely. your mum or your dad's? No, it was my decision. And are you happy with what you did? I am, yes. Then I think that's all that matters. Simon. A couple of weeks ago, Darcy did less of the ventriloquism and more singing, and we said, we think that's a big mistake. And so you completely disregarded our advice. <laughs> threw away the puppets and decided to come out and do it yourself. But you know what? I've always believed the most successful people in life are people who make their own decisions and don't listen to other people. Good for you for sticking with your guns. Thank you, Simon. Give it up for Darcy Lynn! Definitely nervous for the results. I took another big risk. The decision wasn't easy, but I definitely think I made the right choice. That was incredibly if, bold. If, audience, if she would have said, I'll come back to the show, but it's not about puppets for me, it's about singing. Yeah. I wonder if people would have still voted her in then. Yeah.